Hey everybody. Then we're replacing the keyboard on the Acer Aspire 1 532H netbook. As you can see here, I got this for free from a friend. Originally had one as XP, only a gig of RAM, and a 160 gig hard drive, and a keyboard that has definitely seen its better days. <laughs> definitely. Missing keys here, 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 here. And I've upgraded the RAM and this thing and put Windows 7 on it, but we still need to get this keyboard replaced. So anyways, I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace the keyboard on this particular model of netbook. Now I've noticed that a lot of Acer Spiral netbooks are fairly easy to work with when it comes to replacing keyboards. Now in regards to the older netbooks like this one here, doing other kinds of repairs can be more difficult. This is one of the newer models of netbooks that gives you access to a little bit of everything by just simply removing a little cover. So let's go and grab a little flathead screwdriver. And on these keyboards, there are let's see one, two, three. Where actually I see the one, two, yeah, there's five total of these little tabs that hold the keyboard in place. Let me adjust the camera so you can see a little bit better. See, there it is. Not too much to it. Relatively easy. Keyboard was roughly $10 to $15 on Amazon, by the way. So, we're going to just push these little tabs back. And. What you do is take a flathead screwdriver and gently pry in to here. Because these tabs here don't seem to be moving back. They must be built into the plastic of the palm rest. What we're trying to do here is gently pull this keyboard, which does flex. Pull it out from behind those tabs. There's one. There's two. Three, four's already there, and there's five. It's a matter of getting it started out of here. There's also some tabs on the side. There's one here and one over there. Just gently walk your screwdriver in. It's a tough one. Keyboard is flexing like crazy. Now from my understanding, there are no screws holding this thing in. Now, so this is the old keyboard and, <laughs> and it's already messed up to begin with so it doesn't really matter if it's wrecked even worse at this point. Let's get a thin screwdriver. As you see, I kind of bent the old one up a little bit. So obviously if you're working on this thing and you intend to reuse the keyboard, you want to be careful that you don't bend anything. But in this case, the keyboard is what we're, we're replacing, so <laughs> to me it doesn't really matter. There we go, finally. flip it over and under this is the actual hard drive but that's actually accessed from the bottom see the fans working okay now generally I would recommend that you take the battery out of the computer before you start doing any work to it but we're just doing simple keyboard replacement it's not that bad 
I believe the battery is discharged on this guy too. There's the original keyboard. And here is a genuine replacement from what the website said. Looks just like the <laughs> factory OEM. So here what you do is reinsert the um, cable like so. This thing would stay out be nice. Push that in like so. Make sure it's all the way in. So that way when you go to turn this thing on, you don't have to worry about having to deal with a non-functioning keyboard. And then have to tear it back apart again. Now that the cable is in all the way, just simply lift over. Make sure these bottom tabs go down where they're supposed to go. Slide in, push down. Alrighty, keyboard is now installed. That was pretty simple. So, anyways, that's how you replace a keyboard on the Acer Aspire 1532H netbook. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.